So now we have question number nine from the International A-Level P1 uh, sample assessment paper that was made by the examining board at Excel. Um, here we have a question about a curve which has an equation given y equals 20 minus 4x minus 18 over x where x is greater than 0 and they've told us that there's a point A that lies on the curve C and the x coordinate of that point A is 2 the x coordinate of the point A is 2 So, point A is 2 something. Um, it tells us sh to, to show that the equation of the normal to C, the normal to the curve at A is y equals minus 2x plus 7. So what they've drawn here also, this line that's going through A and B, is uh, the normal to the curve, it seems. Okay, now the normal to a curve is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent of the curve. And the tangent of the curve is a line which cuts the curve or touches the curve at right angles. Okay, so this line, if it was to just touch the curve at the A at right angles, then it would be called the tangent to the curve. And the tangent and the normal are always perpendicular. So if they ask us to find the gradient of or the equation of the normal to the curve, we need to know what the the gradient of the tangent of the curve is and then we can work out what the gradient of the normal is and then we can work out the equation of the line. So what we can do here is first of all we need to find the gradient of this curve at the point A. So we need the gradient function. So we have y equals 20 minus 4x and now the 18 over x we want to get it ready to differentiate because the gradient function is found by differentiating. So you have 18x to the power of minus 1. And then we're going to find what dy dx is. Okay, dy dx tells us the gradient function. So that will tell us the gradient at any point we want. Okay, so we've got 20 will disappear, the, the constant disappears. Minus 4 times x leaves you with minus 4. Because remember, you, you have to multiply by the power. The power here is 1. You get minus 4. Take 1 from the power, you get x to the power of 0, which is 1, so you get minus 4. And here, multiply that by the power, you get minus 1 times minus 18, which is plus 18. And take 1 away from the power, you're going to get, end up with minus 2. So that's the gradient function. So we want to find, and if you write it, actually, if you write it in this form, it will be easy for us to substitute values into it. 18 over x squared. Minus 4 plus 18 over x squared. So at the point A, okay, x equals 2. Therefore, the gradient of the tangent at A is going to be given by minus 4 plus 18 over 2 squared. Okay, that gives you minus 4 plus 18 over 4, which is minus 4 plus 9 over 2. Okay, that's minus 8 over 2 plus 9 over 2, which is a half. Okay, that's going to be, yeah, a half. So we know the gradient of the tangent is equal to positive a half. Now, the gradient of the tangent times the gradient of the normal will be minus 1. That means the gradient of the normal is going to be the negative reciprocal of the tangent. So it's going to be minus 2. And that kind of fits into what we had to prove. Okay, the gradient of the line here is minus 2. Okay, so we got, so far so good. Um, now, we need to know a point on the line. Okay, we need to know a point on the line. So, let me just do something here. Make some space for myself. I know you can't do this in the real exam. I'm just trying to make a bit of space so I can finish this question off on this side of the page. Okay. That's fine. All right, so now <coughs> we need to know a point on the line. So we know the gradient on the line. We need to know a point on the line. So, of course, the point on the line on the curve is A. On the line is A. The line passes through A. Okay, so we know the x coordinate of A is 2. We need the y coordinate of A. Okay, so what we can do is we can take the x equals 2 and substitute it into the original equation which is y equals 20 
minus 4x minus 18 over x. It's easy in this form. So when x equals 2, y is going to be 20 minus, that's a 4x, not 40x, minus 4x. So it's 4 times 2 minus 18 over 2. So that gives you 20 minus 8 minus 9. So that's going to give you a 3. All right? 20 minus 8 is, is going to be 12. And 12 minus 9 is going to be 3. So the point A is 2, 3. Okay? So now we can work out the equation of the line. We know that Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. So we can then proceed, let me just move this out of the way, to substitute the values in. We know that y1 is this 3 here, so y minus 3 equals m, the gradient is minus 2, times x minus x1, which is 2. So we have y minus 3 equals minus 2x plus 4, and if we now add 3 to both sides, y is equal to minus 2x plus 7. Make that bit neater. And there we have the answer to part A. It's all about, about equations of straight lines. Finding the equation of the tangent to a curve. Now, part B, um, we, this, this equation of this curve line was y equals minus 2x plus 7, all right? It says a normal to C meets C again at the point B, as shown in figure 3. Use algebra to find the coordinates of B, okay? So we know that y equals minus 2x plus 7, and y equals 20 minus 4x minus 18 over x, okay? If I solve these two equations simultaneously, I'll end up with two solutions. One of them is when x equals 2, Okay, and y equals 3. And the other one we have to find. So let's equate these two equations with each other. So I'll say minus 2x plus 7. Because they both say y equals, I can replace the y here with minus 2x plus 7, to thereby solving these two um, simultaneously. Um, minus 2x plus 7 is equal to 20 minus 4x minus 18 over x. So I've got to try to solve these equations. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the fraction, multiply everything by x. So I have minus 2x squared plus 7x equals 20x uh, minus 4x squared minus 18. Okay, now let's bring the x squareds together. So you're going to have minus 2x squared plus 4x squared, which is 2x squared. And you've got 7x minus 20x, which is minus 13x. And you're going to have plus 18 equals 0. Now, I know one of the solutions to this is x equals um, 2. That means you're going to have x minus 2 as one of the answers. So this must be a 2x, and this must be plus, and thus this must be a 9. And let's see if that works. You're going to have uh, 2x squared minus 4x plus 9x. No, this must be a minus as well. Why does it must be a minus? Because this has to be a positive. So they both have to have the same sign. So you're going to have 2x squared minus 4x minus 9x, which is minus 13x, plus 18. So I didn't have to uh, go through the procedure of factorizing because I know already that x equals 2 is one of the factors. It's one of the solutions to the equation that we set up in the beginning. So that means x minus 2 must be one factor. If x equals 2 is the solution, then you see if you carry on, it'll say x equals 2, you see. So that means x minus 2 must be one solution. So I could then work out what the bracket would be. I made a little mistake, but we worked it out. But basically, there must for you to get 2x squared, you have to have a 2x here, 2x two, two times x. And for you to get plus 18, you should have minus 9 here. I made a mistake of putting plus 9. So minus 9 times minus 2 is plus 18. And then you can check. So you get 4x minus, sorry, you get 4x squared minus 9x 
uh, sorry, 2x squared minus 4x minus 9x, which is minus 13x and plus 18. So the other solution is x equals 9 over 2, which is 4.5. All right, so that is the x value of um, the coordinates of b. So I know that that's 9 over 2, which is 4.5. So I want to find what the x value is. Um, well, I know that there's two, two equations I could use. It's easier for me to use this to find the y coordinate rather than the curve. The curve is more complicated. They both uh, are satisfied by the point B. So if I put x equals 4.5 in here, it will give me the y coordinate. So when x equals 9 over 2, we have y equals minus 2x plus 7, which is minus 2 times 9 over 2, sorry. Now minus 2 times 9 over 2 plus 7, which gives you minus 9 plus 7, because the 2's cancel out, which is minus 2, which makes sense from the location somewhere below the negative side. So it's 4.5 and minus 2. So the coordinates of B, you can write down here, are going to be 9 over 2, 9 over 2, and minus 2. And there we have the answer to that part of the question, and that concludes that question, That's part B. Okay, use algebra to find the coordinates of B, so we found the coordinates of B, X and Y coordinate, both of them, that's what it means. Okay, thank you for watching.